Prince Harry is all set for yet another overseas trip, this time heading to Southern Africa for a charity visit with Centibale, the organization he co-founded back in 2006. He'll be flying solo, leaving Meghan Markle behind, as if she's been placed on a permanent do-not-invite list. Harry's trip comes just before his upcoming appearance at the Well Child Awards in the UK. While no specific date has been disclosed for his African adventure, with October just around the corner, it's anyone's guess when he'll be jetting off. What's he planning? Just the usual rallying business moguls and philanthropists to promote prosperity in southern African communities. Just a typical Monday for a duke trying to save the world. This trip will see Harry gathering global leaders from Google's charitable arm and various organizations for a series of meetings in Lesotho and Johannesburg. After all, the man has a mission, inspired by his late mother, Princess Diana. For those who may not remember, South Africa was less than thrilled with Meghan after she recounted a story on a podcast about a fire in baby Archie's room during their 2019 tour. She claimed she was shaken and in tears, while the tour guides were supposedly more focused on appearances than her emotional state. The backlash was swift, and soon the hashtag Vote Megan Out translated to Go Away Megan was trending. Let's not forget Harry's timing here. He's swooping into South Africa just a month before the Earthshot Prize is set to take place in the same country. Remember last year when he orchestrated a Centibale Polo event in Singapore, right after William announced the Earthshot would be held there? The media had a field day with the whole turf war narrative, painting the brothers as if they were in some sort of competitive deathmatch. Honestly, it's a wonder the tabloids haven't sold tickets yet. The Jealous Brother saga is a tale as old as time, and it's making for some truly cringeworthy moments. Harry seems so desperate for attention that he might think his visit will erase Meghan's blunders, or at least distract the world from them. South Africans are still reeling from Meghan's embarrassing tales, and they are not going to welcome Harry with open arms and royal treatment. The Nepo baby is expecting them to roll out the red carpet while footing the bill for his security, I might add. So here we have Harry gallivanting off to Africa, presumably to engage with the youth and tackle pressing issues, all while conveniently ignoring the welfare of the people in Central Africa. His priorities are about as mixed up as his public image, and it's almost comical to watch. Instead of focusing on real humanitarian work, he's just trying to compete with his brother for attention, like some kind of royal brat. At this rate, you'd think he'd realize that once William arrives, it's game over for the clown prince. The attention will shift faster than you can say Duke of Sussex. Harry's antics might get him some headlines, but they are not going to save him from the looming shadow of his more accomplished brother. We're left to wonder if Harry's trip is really about making a difference, or just another attempt to overshadow William. Only time will tell if he manages to reclaim some semblance of relevance. But for now, it looks like he's merely spinning his wheels while the world watches on half amused, half embarrassed.